So as some of you may or may not know, I have a few tattoos on this arm, and I also recently got a brand new tattoo on the right arm. Now, the last time I made a video about my tattoo collection, I pretty much just showcased you what I got in the beginning. And I mentioned somewhat in the video that they were unique. Let me just tell you something. These tattoos on me are, are anything except unique because a lot of other people in this world, and because, you know, realize we have billions of people in this world, they probably walk around with the same tattoos as me. However, I thought that they were really nice. Design-wise, as you can see right now, they're not unique by any means. Matter of fact, only small things have been adjusted to these tattoos to my liking. So we're going to get into this brand new tattoo. Going to give you some tips as well what to choose from when you want to get your first tattoo or how you pretty much roll into the whole tattoo addiction. Because let me tell you guys something. Getting a tattoo starts off with, oh, you know, just want to look, maybe put something or maybe not. And then it becomes an addiction. And trust me, it is addictive. So I got my first tattoo set about two months ago when I was with my buddy from Texas, Dante. So shout out to the bro, Dante. I got the first one, which was the skull one with the knife dagger in it. I got that one in London. That's actually my most expensive tattoo. That one was 250 yeah, that was expensive. A lot of other people told me that I got ripped off pretty much. But then again, I was also like, well, to be fair, I am in London. It is a hot spot. But yeah, no, looking back for the price, yeah, I, I got I got fucked over heavily. But again, it was a special moment for me. I've wanted a tattoo for so long. Went through the designs of the book and I was like, hey, I like this one a lot. However, I would like to adjust a few things. So I did. Instead of it just having a plain background, he like faded it in or faded it out, whatever the word is. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Then a couple of days later, I had gotten the skull one, the, the big one. And this one was my cheapest one, believe it or not. This is my cheapest tattoo for some unknown reason. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I did it locally. Uh, they have no meaning, just to get you through it all. I really just put all these tattoos together because of the fact that I like the design and every tattoo that I put on my body, I did adjust myself. I was like, okay, either color it in a bit more or make the design a bit different or perhaps fade it in a little bit more. So every tattoo that you do see is slightly adjusted from the original in the textbook. But yes, all these tattoos are from Pinterest slash textbook. With a textbook, what I'm trying to say is from the book in the store. And every time I do put a tattoo, I do, you know, discuss with the tattoo artist. Like, okay, hey, I really like this one. What size is a possibility? And is color a possibility? And well, there are a lot of tattoo artists that really have passion and love in their job. There are, however, a lot of tattoo artists as well that just genuinely fucking hate their job for some reason. Or cannot be bothered to do a certain tattoo why i don't know i've been to a few different tattoo artists and i asked them like hey can you make this design no we can't so i'm like okay weird why are you a tattoo artist then in the first place is is it because you don't want to set it or is it like you just don't know how to they they, they often answer like no nah, it's just because it's a very difficult design often what happens is when you randomly come into a store and you ask for a tattoo with a lot of designs they don't do it on the spot because designs often require time and patience and that's exactly what with this new tattoo was i had been to two different tattoo stores tattoo artists whatever you like to call it and i said hey listen i really want this one however i want to adjust a few things and then the first thing they said oh yeah it's got too many designs so it makes you really wonder if some really genuinely don't want to do it or if some genuinely just don't know how to perhaps maybe both now the real question is obviously do i regret any of the tattoos no i do not because if I regretted them, I wouldn't have put them on the first place. And it's quite ironic because often when people do get tattoos set, they sometimes regret afterwards. They'd be like, oh no, why did I get this certain tattoo? Or like, why the fuck did I get a tattoo? Anyways, me however, I did not. So what is going on with this arm, you may be wondering. Well, that's a good question. I had a talk with my tattoo artist, with my local tattoo artist. And I asked him like, yo bro, I I've got a question, right? So like... What is a possibility that I can get done? I'm thinking either of getting a full arm sleeve, so from here to the wrist, right? Like the entire arm. Because the truth is, these are just placed randomly. Very off, very obvious. You know, I don't think there's any denying and saying, okay, yeah, these are placed randomly. Because they are. Or I ask them, like, is a half sleeve also possible? So basically from, like, let's say here, 
until here completely covered because i asked him like i want something to not cover it up but like blend in the background with these and he said you know what we really can do adjust it to your likings obviously how you want it we can put thorns and roses which i know a lot of people are gonna be like man that's the most basic fucking common tattoo yeah it kind of is yeah like rose tattoos and thorns are very common at least where i live i've seen the majority of people with thorn and and, and rose tattoos it's to what everyone likes but again like i said if i put a tattoo i adjust it to my liking because at the end of the day a tattoo design is what you want to, to be out of it you know now a lot of people whenever they get their first tattoo they either think about it very good and they'll be like okay I want it to be this, and I want it to have a meaning. And I had the discussion with my tattoo artist. I said, how come so many people talk about they want their first tattoo or a tattoo to have such a meaning? He's like, well, you know what? The truth is, man, all the shit you see on my buddy, my guy, they ain't got no fucking meaning. I just put them on there because I like them. And for a lot of people, they say that they have a meaning, but the truth is a lot of people just put tattoos on their bodies, just like you in this case, because you said you don't have a meaning for tattoo. Just because they like it. And the truth is, yes, these tattoos have absolutely no meaning. I put them on my body because I like them. However, what I have to say is that there is a tattoo coming up. Now, when, I don't exactly know. Because this is going to be a project. This is going to be a very, very beautiful one in honor of a friend of mine that passed away. But this tattoo is going to have a very meaningful meaning to me. And I asked him, like, hey, listen, is it possible for you to do this tattoo for me but make it the best you can like best you can the most realistic hyper realistic tattoo he said yeah of course no problem if you've got a good picture of the project that you want high quality picture i can make anything happen anywhere and he's not badly priced neither he's actually quite affordable you have to understand as well like when you go to a tattoo shop like a small tattoo is anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks but again prices vary by the artist you know the one charges more the one charges less why is it a thing i don't really know i don't know actually how to answer that question i'm gonna be very honest to you i guess the one thinks he's better than the other or maybe competition who knows but starting up a tattoo shop in the netherlands seems like a lot of fun but i uh, used to talk to someone back in the days who was studying to become a tattoo artist told me that it was a pain in the fucking ass to become one i don't know if she's till this day become a tattoo artist or not but she did talk to me about it at the time that she was very interested and she was actually busy learning to become a tattoo artist because in order to learn how to tattoo you have to buy like this equipment you know this fake skin and then tattoo it it's very funny however to answer your questions uh, did the new tattoo hurt yeah you know there were a few factors that played a very big role to be honest when i put this tattoo last week it wasn't very fun a week and a half two weeks ago because one i was sick and when i say sick I had this weird swelling up in my face, so I was with my friend two weeks ago on the grass, me and her were chilling, and I come back home the same night, and my face was a bit annoyed, like, it was a bit swollen up here, and I was like, eh, okay, whatever, I don't give a shit, I'm gonna just go to bed, I'm too tired. The next day I woke up, which was the Monday morning, and my entire face was just swollen up, and I was like, okay, that is odd, I'm gonna go to the doctor and ask what's up. Now, they said that I had a allergic reaction to grass, which I thought was kind of weird because of the fact I've been playing football for over 10 plus years and it made no sense to me. Well, anyways, what happened a few days later, I had medication, all this and this and that. Bro, I was eating food and then out of nowhere, I just, you know, wanted to see how I was looking and then a lot of stuff came out of my mouth, like pus came out of my mouth. It apparently was a cut in my mouth. I didn't even, I hadn't even noticed I had a cut in my mouth. So yeah, you can imagine the the night before going out, how amazing it felt just having all that stuff come out my mouth. Now, don't get it twisted, man. That week was rough because that same day I also had my tattoo set. I have not ever seen in my life a tattoo person that tattoos art people without tattoos on them. It's like unheard of. Like imagine just being a tattoo artist and having no tattoos. It's a possibility, but seems very hollow to me. Anyways, that was the video today. Hope you enjoyed it.